This is my new Honda CRV build that me and my wife put together. The purpose of this build was not really so much for living in our car, although that is a theoretical option should our life fall apart for some reason. But the real reason we wanted to do this is because I've been having a lot of physical health problems and I really suck at exercising. But one thing I really wanted to do is get out into nature and do some hiking, maybe up in the mountains and stuff here in the Philippines. And so I am in the Philippines and so car camping is a lot trickier in this country. There aren't like RV spots or anything, so we couldn't rig it as an RV. Um, I wanted something that was kind of stealth. So in order to go the stealth route, we wanted everything to be kind of self-contained inside of the car and really nothing on the outside of the car if we can avoid it. But as for everything else, we've given serious thought to how we've made the build. On the other hand, there's also a few things that could be improved with it, and as we go around it, you will start to see that. The cabinet inside of this build was actually made by a carpenter who's never done anything like this before, so it's understandable that there are some issues, and I've never done anything like this before either, so I did as much research as I could and tried to give as much information and feedback to the carpenter that I could to build this. I'm already considering things for a version 2, such as cutting out side holes in the wood, in order to make the wood even lighter because currently it is quite heavy and I am worried about the longevity of the rear suspension, although it doesn't really seem to have much of an effect. We've also already planned to have the carpenter come out this week in order to change this drawer here because as it stands, you can't actually get all the way to the back of the drawer because there's no way to lift the top of this. So he's actually coming this week to cut the top of this so that it can be hinged and then give us access inside of the drawer and then cover up the front. However, this hole, just to be clear, is sized perfectly for one of these portable stoves, which we have already purchased. In fact, I bought a lot of camping gear, which is gonna go inside of this car. In addition to that, we've also made sure there's a lot of storage and cubby holes and things like that so that we can put all of our camping gear without it feel cramped and still have plenty of space to spare. But we also wanted to leave enough room above because I'm quite a large person so that we can sleep comfortably and even sit up a little bit. I can kind of sort of sit up in the car. The cabinet itself, I believe, is 13 or 14 inches tall. So it's not a huge tall cabinet. But again, there is plenty of space. As you can see, it does fit this AlphaCool cooler inside of here, which I believe is the 15 liter cooler. And it also fits two big boxes of camping gear. And on each side of here, we could put these water containers. Now, I only have one here right now. We're waiting on the delivery of a second one. We got these two big water dispensers so we can carry up to 30 liters of water on a single trip. Finally, of course, we have our solar. This is really, we're not looking to like power an air conditioner or anything. Like I said, I want to go into the mountains. And here in the Philippine mountains, it can actually be quite cool as opposed to the heat that you get from Manila or somewhere like that. So given that, all we really needed was the ability to charge some stuff, make sure the cooler can stay on through the night or what have you. Those were really the main points that we were looking to take care of by having this little solar battery pack combo. The battery pack itself is a Vanpa, which is a, believe a Chinese brand, maybe a Philippine brand, I'm really not sure. And it's 600 watts, 150, amp hours. So it's got a good amount of battery life in it. And while it does lack in some critical features, like knowing exactly how much charge you have left, it does tell you that there's charge and it tells you approximately how much, but as soon as you put load on it, it actually displays the charge incorrectly. So it's a little weird. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this build and we're going to be having more videos coming soon where we're actually going to be taking this out and about into the mountains of the Philippines. And if you have any suggestions on how we can improve this build, please let us know. We're very eager to make improvements to this and see what we can do with it in the future.